colors yeah. in a lot of things. And his other colors are cyan, um, magenta, uh, yeah, pink one. Yeah. That's magenta, yeah. and yellow. <laughs> like CMYK, which is how like printers do colors. So his colors are all like, it's the color systems. Red, green, blue is like mm -hmm. two different ways to do additive coloring, I think. Yeah, Yoshi has like some of the most color options out of these characters too, yeah. I'm always disappointed the Fox only has four. And only and they're like pretty questionable, a lot of them. Yeah. I play Falco and my favorite color is the uh, pink from 20XX. But oh yeah, I agree with that. I call that uh, Metro Falco. Yeah. I uh, <laughs> was trying to get that today, but no 20XX here. Uh, have you ever seen uh, anyone use the color of Peach uh, where it looks like Daisy? Oh, yeah, I played that one. If I play Peach. Just because uh, people hate it so much, I think it's kind of funny I, to play I've that. I've never seen anyone, like, I've never seen a Peach man use that. Um, there's a couple Peach mains who use it off the top of my head. I can't. I don't know who the best one is. Anyway, I don't know. It doesn't matter. People hate it so much, but who cares? It's like. I don't get why anyone would hate a color so much. Maybe it's ugly, sure, people but... Get, people get passionate about stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, has the same moveset. Yeah, this is Daisy, whatever. With it, yeah. This makes your skin look weird. I think the weirdest thing in a color is... Uh, so if you play the, the white to Luigi skin, his... um And Blue Falcon. Okay, so Blue Falcon Blue and White Falcon. Luigi have a similarity <laughs> that you might not notice. In both those... Costumes, their gloves are the exact same color as their skin. Huh. Skin gloves. It's really like weird. Like they're not wearing gloves? or It looks, they are wearing gloves because you can see them like flare out <laughs> at the wrist. They just like pick But the they same just color. happen to be the exact same color as their skin. So I call them skin gloves. It's like uh, camo gloves. Yeah, it's kind of gross. Wow, laser F smash. So the funny that thing is, work. these two players, I don't know either of these two players that well, but... <laughs> I have mutual friends with each one of them. Mm -hmm. Good mutual friends with each one of them. Just fun fact. I learned the guy on the right is a super old school friend of someone I went to college with. Oh, where'd you go to college? Third grade. Uh, UC Davis. Nice. His friends. He knows my friend Richie since third grade. So he. It's kind of weird when like someone. It's like okay, so your college friends. Like <laughs> you only know them for like max four years. Yep. But you become really good friends. Versus, like, you know, if you went to kindergarten with someone through senior year, that's, for like that's 13 years. years. Yeah. But the thing is, college friends are better in some ways. you have some freedom when you know them. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you can kind of pick your friends more in college. Yeah. Because you are friends because of some shared interest rather than, uh, like, oh, like living we next live to next other. to each yeah. other. Or, like, oh, we are on the same soccer team. We kind of hate each other, but just because of proximity, we're friends. I mean, you can have good friends, obviously, but anyway. It was funny. I was asking him all these questions about... Richie, because it was kind of funny. Does he play Melee too? Or? Yeah, this is the person that got my other friend into Melee. Ah. Guy on the right. Black White. Black White. Interesting tag. Anyway, the more you know about my life. <laughs> uh, down Tilt. I really like Down Tilt because it can shield poke here. Yeah. It's pretty cool to see. Do a couple hits on shield, then you Down Tilt. Yeah. It's always scary kind of holding down against Peach, but. Uh, when she's in shield, it's fine. Especially when people like double to. shine. Yeah, you could have double shine. That was really good against the two lasers, though. Like acted immediately, got a nair out, did not let the shine come out. So it's only. It's, I think the score is wrong. Now it's one zero Falco. Uh, yeah. They had the read. That was the first game. <laughs> the score read. Really go peach counter pick. I mean, you ban FD, and then Peach brings you to Dreamland. Yeah, it's either FD or Dreamland. Or Fountain. I, I actually think that this is, like, okay for Falco here, but it just requires, like, a lot more patience. Yeah, it's okay for Falco. It's just, like... Falco does have a harder time killing on yeah, Dreamland that's than true. Fox, say. For sure. Like, it either requires a DI mix-up early, like getting a dare somehow. Because the thing about Dreamland is, okay, at least in the Fox match, Fox versus Peach, yeah. you still die at up smash. Mm -hmm. It's just you don't ever die. You die at like 180 to back air. <laughs> just back air doesn't kill. Unless uh, unless you're like over 150. In the Falco Peach, one of the nice things about this stage that's added for Falco uh, is 
the ability to get out of any situation. Like, you can always side be onto the top platform. Yeah. You side, can jump full height. Also, yeah. the side platforms are pretty high, so it's kind of hard for Peach to edge guard, I think. Yeah, so, like, if you are willing to escape out of a situation you don't like, this stage makes it pretty easy. But it, you got to play a really long so game. <laughs> Yeah, the interesting thing though is the Battlefield top platform is higher than Dreamland's. Mm -hmm. But the side platforms in Dreamland are higher than the Battlefield side platforms. Yeah. And also, I'm pretty sure the Battle the Dreamland top platform is wider than the side platforms. If you just look, I think it's wider. It looks wider anyway. Yeah, no, it is. It looks like it's like 15% wider. Yeah, I think like Falco gets some advantage from how wide the stage is. Uh, like the stage itself, not the blast zones. Uh, and just having access to the top platform, Peach has trouble getting up there. But Peach lives forever. So the funny thing see. about this stage, it's imported from Smash 4, but like... Alright, so 64? Yeah. The blast zones aren't this big in 64. Yeah. Like, they literally messed up or something. Like, <laughs> it's way too it's big. It's just enormous. And then in Smash 4, the blast zones are way smaller. It's <laughs> but you know, in Smash 4, like, this, this stage has a, like, slight like, angle. It's, uh, it's I like, haven't seen it. What do you mean? No, no, no. It's like, they messed up. It's like, it's like one degree, like, tilted. Like the whole stage? And it actually affects certain mechanics. Like, jab resets <laughs> don't work on certain characters. Like in some direction or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, really weird. I don't know how they messed that up. Like, one side is like, 10 pixels higher than the other side. Alright, what's your take on Wispy blowing wind <laughs> oh. on the stage? What do you mean? Oh, it's pretty annoying, but it doesn't usually matter. I always wondered if, um, so say you're wobbling as Ices, yep. and then like the wind blows just Nana and not Popo, could it save you from a wobble? Yeah, maybe. It doesn't. <laughs> because uh, you yeah, know about like the Popo force? Popo, what? like Nana gets like sucked towards Popo. <laughs> oh. That's like stronger than the wind blows. Got it. I only learned like two years, in my head, like I've played this game for so long as a kid, I always thought that the wind blew you in the air, but it only blows you on the ground. And I learned that oh, like two years ago. Oh, I didn't ago. realize that. Yeah, it doesn't matter in the now air. Now I know. So like, if you're recovering, it's like, oh, I would have made it back because of the wind. It's like, no. It's like Newton's laws of dreamland. I guess, yeah, you need to be on the ground for wind to hit you. That's Newton's fourth law. Wind only blows on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was actually really good that he held down. <laughs> he would have died. That was actually very... Like, got two hits and got out. Yeah, because he would have died on the other side. But get, getting hit cross stage on Dreamland is like ridiculous because the stage is like, huge. Against floaties with uh, with with Falco, I think like after a certain percent, pretty low, like 30, 40 on your opponent, like shine stops being good. Okay, so actually Falco there was going for an interesting thing versus Peach, where if Peach is floating, you can do like these short hop no fast fall lasers that are pretty high. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. It's like you basically do rising laser. Like max height laser doesn't have a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it like blocks Peach from jumping, which is like super helpful. Because like Peach, or can, floating. Peach yeah. can try to float over short hop lasers, but then or short hop fastball lasers. But if you don't fastball, then you can get them higher. Yeah, so you can like do the low laser, cover Peach on the ground. Uh, you can cover Peach's float with a little higher laser, and if they try to float above both of them, you got the up tilt. But to make that air killed. Yeah, it does it. Even on Dreamland, takes care of it. Mission Capri. Game took a little longer than game one, but... Got it's Dreamland.